All right, Baraka, thank you, how? Ba'ashim, how was shot? Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash, Baraka, Thumb. You know, um, I was just watching this video, you know, the brother posted about these women, these wicked-ass women, you know, some woman came up to the camp and was scoffing, I mean, talking shit, you know, defending Esau. I'm gonna let y'all hear. Ugly-ass bitch, man. Get the first scripture, man. <clears throat> Oh, piranha face looking ass. Fucking demon. Bitch, a demon, man. Ugly ass bitch, man. Get the first scripture, man. <clears throat> this is Isaiah. The nigga woman always coming for Esau's defense, man. Fucking demon, man. These nigga women gonna be destroyed, man. All right. I hate these fucking. Uh, a little willing, y'all heard, you know, some of what she was saying. You know, the bitch was babbling her mouth. But, you know, um, I'm making this video because the Lord put the spirit on me to make this video. You know, and I just thought about how these women don't know their place. You know, they don't got this, you know, they walk around proud with their necks stretched out and they feel like they have an opinion and their opinion matters to uh, to the Lord or to anybody, man. The best thing for a woman to do is shut their fucking mouth, man. That's the best thing for a woman to do because the Lord does not deal with no fucking woman. And the shit pissed me off because these bitches don't know their place. You know, and that's what the Lord, the Lord deals with order, man. If you don't want to get right with the order that the Lord set up and how he wants it to be, you just, it's rebellious, man. That's rebellion. You know, rebellion is a sin that's a witchcraft, man. And what you do with a witch, you put a witch to death, man. I'm going to get that Lord will, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For thou has, for the Yahweh has created a new thing in the earth. A, a woman shall compass a man. Now that word compass means go beyond the authority of. So these women, these women here in America have went beyond the authority of a man. They don't believe, they don't understand that a man is supposed to be over them. They don't want to accept that. You know, they feel like, you no, know, uh, like the woman's supposed to be on top and the man's supposed to be on bottom. That's not the way the Lord created. You know, because women go off emotions. You know, they can't think logically. Like the scripture says, deprive the wisdom. If I'm spelling, wait. You know, the Lord has deprived women of wisdom, man. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, wait, it's a lot. This is uh, Job chapter 39, verse 17. Because God had deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So the Lord did not give women understanding or wisdom. The Lord gave, the Lord created women to be a subject unto their men and to be a servant to their men. That's all a woman was created for. That's why she has a box, you know, and also to bear children, you know. That's why a woman was created. A woman was not created, so let me turn this on. A woman was not created to be in no power seat. No woman was not created to be, to be telling, man, telling a man what to do, period. Because the woman goes off emotions And you might get mad But it's just the way the Lord created you The Lord created you to play a specific role You know And he, he, he didn't want you He didn't give you wisdom He didn't give you understanding Because he didn't want you to play that role of a man Because if the woman had wisdom and understanding with the man I mean they, Their heads were always, you know, bump, you know Because, you know Their heads were always collide, you know It'll be a Fight for power, you know. But the Lord clearly created man to be an alpha male, to be what he is. You know, the Lord created gave us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He didn't give it to women, he gave it to men. That's just the way that it is. That's the way the Lord created it. 
and you women are fighting against that you know because this devil has told you that he has filled your head up with bullshit you know who run the world girls who run the world girls you know they push this vibration out on the earth and it's the wrong vibration man so these women have went beyond the authority of a man I thought I was gonna get something else. Uh, it's a lot. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, a witch. Call her you about Um, you know, a witch supposed to be put to death. This is 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23 For Wait, it's a lot I'm going to start at verse 22 And Samuel said Hath the Hath Yahweh As great As great delight in burnt offerings and so, sacrifices As in obeying the voice of Yahweh Behold, to obey is better than to sacrifice And to hearken than to fat And to hearken Than to f The fat of lamb, rams For rebellion is Wait, it's a lot Let me go back to that You know this is 20, verse 22. And Samuel said, Hath Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh? Behold, to obey is better than to sacrifice. So if you obey the voice of the Lord, it's better than doing a sacrifice or a burnt offering. That's what he is saying. To obey the Lord, obey his voice, is better than to do better than to do sacrifices. Behold, to obey is better than to than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of rams. So to listen and do, obey the Lord is better than the fat of lambs. Rams. Like, for rebellion is a, as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as inquility and idolatry. So if you're being stubborn to the way the Lord set up things. You know, the way that these women are acting. You know, you're being stubborn towards the way that the Lord has, has its, how he made it. And how he wants it to be. That's a sin. And the Lord going to kill you, man. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Now, that goes into something else. But um, the point being, you know, you rebellious women are going to receive the judgment that the Lord has for you, man. If you don't want to obey what the Lord wants you to do, you know, the way that he set things up. He gonna kill you, man, and then he gonna bring you back in the reincarnation, and you gonna he gonna make you do it, man, because right now, you know, y'all so called have free will, which you don't have free will, you know, you're just fulfilling prophecy and doing what the Lord wants you to do. But when the kingdom of heaven, you women not gonna step out of line, you know, y'all not gonna step out of line, cause y'all gonna see that power, man. Y'all gonna see the Lord is finna show his power, man. Y'all think we just talking, man? You, you, we, yeah, we talking for right now, man. But when the Lord start manifesting Himself and these chariots and His judgment on this earth, ain't none of you motherfuckers ain't gonna say that, man. None of you, I, you, I see. None of you, pro you false prophets. Y'all gonna shut the fuck up, man. Because the the time the, is approaching. The time that the Lord is finna execute judgment, and nobody ain't gonna say shit, man. Nobody ain't gonna say nothing against it. You, nobody ain't gonna scoff. None of that. Cause you're gonna be fucking shitting on yourself. You're gonna be scared, man. Cause right now ain't nothing really happening. But wait till stuff start popping off on this earth, man. You people gonna humble down. You especially you women. You gonna humble down, man. You gonna see that power and you gonna humble yourself. Cause the best thing for a woman to do is shut up, man. If you come up to the camp, shut the fuck up, man. Shut up. Because y'all don't know y'all place, man. It's better for a woman to learn in silence. You know? Be obedient. It's not hard, man. And you rebellious bitches act like it's hard to do. This is, Isaiah, this is Jeremiah chapter 31 verse... Um, I'm going to read this again. Wait, what verse was it? Was it 10? No, nah, not 10. Uh, so I don't forgot what verse it was. I know it's in verse 31. Uh, 
And for all you, of oh, this verse 22. And for all you women that's out there, man, doing what y'all supposed to do, you know, obeying your, your um, your husband, man, that, your how about you, man, I shot brought the thumb to you, man, because you know it's a blessing, man, because for, because you have a whole bunch, for all you women that's out there doing the right thing, man, shalom to you, man, because it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to for you women to be accepting y'all role as you know being the ruler of the uh what's a lot as being you know you know uh being accepting your role i, I forgot uh what pre pre precept that was of uh, saying the man is the head or um and the woman is the head of the household something like that it's like if i'm getting that wrong but um you know we shallow on to you sisters as you know accepting your role you're not in and, and accepting what the lord has you know Ordained for you, whatever role it is that you play in your and in, in this truth, you know, and and if you are being your husband, man. But you know, I know you all women are demons. But you know, this is Jeremiah thirty one and twenty two again. How long would thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall surpass a man. And so these women need to be put in their place. And it ain't nothing for the Lord to put them in their place. You know, it don't take nothing for the Lord to do it. But you know, it just vexes our spirit to have a, a bitch that bleed once a month talking shit. You wanna slap that bitch, man. But you know, um, these women don't know their place. And the Lord is gonna easily put them back in their place, man. Because this shit, this shit is vexing, you know? It's like it's like a child telling you what the fuck to do. Talking shit against you. You just wanna spank their ass, man. That's what it feels like. A fucking child telling you what to do. 